Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? Decided to make a video on just a couple of subjects. Actually, one subject and um, a strange update. Uh, two weeks ago, I adopted this girl. Her name is Maddie. She is one huge female ball python. Normal, as far as I can tell. Don't really know much about her, except for the fact that the rescue had her for three months, and she had been suffering from severe scale rot. As you can see right there, she's got that zipper all the way down her belly. She's all healthy and healed right now. She weighed in at roughly 4,800 grams. And she's over 5 feet. She's one of the largest ball pythons I've ever seen. Um, she's still a little bit skittish and a little bit pissed off at me right now. And the reason for that being is came home one day. Well, first of all, I just want to say I adopted her. So that, I, you know, to keep her as a pet. I have plenty of breeder ball pythons. And I wanted a, just a pet. Somebody I could set up and enjoy. And lo and behold, this is what I got out of her. She dropped seven eggs. Um, four, of course, were slugs. And got these three eggs that I've got incubating right now in some um, vermiculite perlite mix. So it's kind of funny because you would think that a rescue with a bunch of so-called specialists in pythons and others, other reptiles could have been able to tell through all their stages. I mean, if they had her for 90 days, she should have had some like ovulation swell. Um, I'm sure nobody palpated her. And then right before I got her, she had pre lay shed that they called shed. But if anybody who's bred ball pythons before, they know that there's a slight difference to a pre lay shed and a shed. So that's her. So I don't know what kind of eggs I'm going to get out of her or what, but there's only three of them. So we'll probably just keep them because ball python, I mean, normal ball python eggs don't go for much. And um, now that that's over with, I'm going to give a quick explanation. I have seen not that many videos on an explanation of the yellow belly or het ivory morph. This is um, a male head ivory <laughs> who likes to hiss a lot. And as you can see, he's really striking. I mean, the yellow, it, the, to a normal person with no experience, they look pretty, pretty similar to a normal. But um, let me show you a couple of genetics. A lot of people think that a yellow belly from its name means that they'll have a yellow belly. But that is absolutely not true. Some do, some don't. Um, they have a really clean white belly. Very few speckles on it. But um, don't just go by the yellow on their belly and think that's, that's what you're getting. One of the true, true markers of good genetics for a yellow belly is if you see this head, the head on them, they'll have this like little yellow arrow on their head or even a rounded off arrow on their head that's what this guy has and on the side the number one thing you're looking for is the flames he's got a lot of flames licking up his sides so you can see them and they continue all the way up to the ridge where the normal blushing on a normal ball python would be so um I just thought I'd make that straight I've like I said I've looked up a lot of videos on YouTube and hardly anybody has any real accurate explanation of what a true yellow belly ball python has. They do have the genetic markers like I explained, the yellow on the head and the number one thing you're looking for is on the side those flame licks right there. If you can see them right between the alien heads. And um, you get one of these males, one of these females together and the reason why the head ivory comes up with from is because you can get ivory ball pythons out of them. You're looking at 150 to 200 dollar snakes put together making a one thousand to fifteen hundred dollar snake so I'll probably be doing that this upcoming season this guy's almost ready to go I've been um feeding them I, I don't want to use the term power feeding because power feeding basically means you start out with like some ball pythons they have to be mousers you have to you have to give them a primer which is a smaller rodent and then right before they're about to swallow you kind of assist feed them with another one. I don't believe in doing that because you can get prolapsed rectums and a lot of issues with your ball python. You let them eat what they will take. Um, now I use the term power feeding which means 
I go from seven days, every seven days to feeding them, to when I'm getting my females to size and my males to size also. Um, I feed them every five days, depending on the size. Now, you want to keep records on their, their current weight. Just measure them or weigh them out every single time before you feed them and then after you feed them so you get a, a basic general log of how much weight they're gaining. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little surprise that I got and let me see if I can give you guys a little accurate showing of how big this female is. Um, anyway, like I said, I hope this helps out people who are trying to figure out what the yellow bellies should look like. And there they go, put together. So you can tell the serious difference in head size right there. She's massive. So anyway, hope that helped everybody out. Peace.